I do have this sort of secret shame that I've only just begun to share with audiences. Um, but the night after this last election, I accidentally fucked a Trump voter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, now hear me out. I was drunk. It was last call, he walked in, he had genitals, and I said, let's go. And halfway back to my apartment, he t finally turns to me and he's like, how about this election? And I was like, oh, I can't believe I didn't ask about this. It's crazy, what's gonna happen to our country? I'm terrified. And then just the longest pause imaginable, and he was like, yeah, but he has some good ideas. And I was like, no, <laughs> you know? I feel like I've spent the last 10 years of my life telling conservatives online to suck my dick, and then one finally did, you know? And I hated it. <laughs> Thank you so much, good night. Don't trip her, don't get booster! Oh no. I'm gonna centipede in the bathroom. <gasps> Holy shit. I know, right? Oh my god, I don't even know what to do with that. I think I'd need more than like a condom as protection. Like I wanna take this dick to court and get a restraining order against this penis. That's gonna be a no for me, dog. Yeah, no ticket to Hollywood for this penis. Okay. Come back next season, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my car's here. Okay, bye. Find a reasonably sized oh, penis, okay? Right oh, thank you. <laughs> Much you. Not much you. She's on the stage right now. Shalewa Show! I'm not used to a New York City crackhead. Like, I'm from the South, so a more genteel crack, like a crack gentleman is what I'm, <laughs> what I'm used to, you know what I mean? Somebody who really cares about the people he's stealing from. My crackhead in Atlanta <laughs> once came up to me and he was like, uh, hey, Miss Lady, um, I, I really hate to tell you this, but I caught somebody else going through your car. Okay, what is else? <laughs> else? Okay, all right. Yeah, it's dead, right? Oh. So dead. <laughs> My god, you came. Yeah, it came. I said I was gonna come. <laughs> okay, someone's cute in person. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> didn't you say you were like with a group of people? That's a figure of speech. Is it? <laughs> so, you're a comedian. Funny boy. <laughs> I bet you are really funny. I can tell. I like to think I am. <laughs> So what is this? Is this like a stand-up? Is this like improv? Do you have like a team? Is it like happening now? Is it happening later? Uh, the show actually happens in that bar over there. This is more like the back bar where comedians come to be alone and sort of like center themselves before the set. Uh, okay, just be cool. alone. It's a big yeah. part of it. Yeah, okay, well, good thing I came. Because now you have company. <laughs> Let's just get a drink, right? Excuse me, hi. I like a drink, that's why I'm sitting here. I'd like to not wait longer, please. I'd like a Sprite. I think he's doing his best. Okay, we don't know him and we don't know that. Well, I do. I mean, I see him. I have to see him a lot. Thanks. Uh, okay, so, a little about me. I have never lost a Pepsi challenge. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> cool. So should we go make out? So I was coming back from my father's memorial service and uh, a coworker came up to me and she said, oh wow, so both of your parents are gone. And I said, yeah, unfortunately that is the case. And then she said, wow, don't you wish you had had kids so they could have known their grandkids? and you've handed me an existential crisis. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, 
that is not how my live-in boyfriend of six years does it. <laughs> Wait, what? That's... Okay, um, well, thank you so much for that experience. Uh, but in the meantime, I think the show is actually happening right now, so I should probably go. <laughs> is it a ghost? This is one of our best friends. Make some noise. That's Joel Kim Booster! I just would like to clarify up top that I am their best friend, but they're not my best friend. Um, <laughs> I just want to set the record straight really quick.